So Joe Bortz has his GS1100 over for some carburetor rebuild work, and I noticed that his brakes are horribly spongy on the front. And you've got plenty of meat left on those brake pads. So the first thing to do is take the brake fluid reservoir cap off and check the level. It's a little bit low, but I'm more concerned right now with the quality of the fluid. So instead of just topping this up, I'm going to test it. Now for an accurate test, you need 7 milliliters of brake fluid. Then add the brake fluid sample to the test kit. And add 4 drops of part A then add one drop of part B. So if it turns green the fluids good and if it's red the fluids bad. So you just put the cap back on and shake it for about a minute. That's definitely bad brake fluid so I'm going to show you how to flush and replace the entire system. So to drain out all this old nasty brake fluid we have to go down to the caliper. On the caliper there is this bleed nipple and it has a cap on it so if you just pop that off you can see where you can easily slip a hose on. So I have my hose hooked up to my reservoir can so when I loosen up this bleed needle the brake fluid will drain into my can. If you give the brake handle a few pumps, it'll start to flow. Now that the system is completely drained, I'm going to flush. You can see the scum in the bottom of the reservoir. I'm just going to wipe that out before I flush it. They do make brake system flush, but I just use new brake fluid because it's actually cheaper and it does a great job and make sure you use the correct grade of brake fluid it's either in your manual or in this case it's written on the cap this one takes DOT 3.4 after you see clear brake fluid starting to flow top up the brake fluid reservoir and then let the clear fluid continue to flow until it's empty and the system is completely flushed Everything is clean, flushed, and drained, and now I just need to put in fresh brake fluid. And then reinstall the reservoir cap. Now to bleed the brakes, all you have to do is pump the handle until it gets firm, and then hold it down while loosening the bleed screw, and then quickly tighten it back up. Then pump the master cylinder again and hold it down while opening the bleed screw and then quickly closing it when the handle depresses. Now just repeat this step until all the air is bled completely from the system and you have a nice firm brake handle. For another process you can use is to loosen the bleed screw and then use a syringe on the end of your hose to suck the air bubbles out along with fresh fluid. And just repeat until there's no more air bubbles. Make sure to securely tighten the bleed screw and to replace the little rubber cap. First, after you're finished bleeding, top up the reservoir with fresh brake fluid. Okay, Joe, you've got badass brakes now, and I'll have your carbs dialed in by 5 o'clock today so you can pick up your bike along with your 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also badass if you like them and share them with your friends.